Hi everyone! My name is Katie, and thank you for joining me for another Animal Crossing speed build. Today, for the seventh day of my 12 Days of Crossmas series here on my channel, we will be building a Christmas tree farm for Bo, so let's get started! So the first thing I'm doing is laying down the padding. This is just a big flat area, so I wanted to give myself some guidelines on where everything should go. As I do that, I thought I could tell you a little bit about my inspiration for this build. So in real life, I am actually allergic to Christmas trees. So for my whole life and into my adulthood now with my husband, we only have had fake trees. But I had a friend in college who grew up on a Christmas tree farm and the way that he talked about his farm was that it really was a whole experience. Kind of like a pumpkin patch in the fall. You would go and get your tree and there would be games for kids and there would be a hot chocolate stand and some apple cider stands and different treats and opportunities to give gifts of charity and all these different things. So that's kind of the vibe that I wanted to go for. Um, really making picking out your Christmas tree a whole experience. And since I've never actually done that in real life, I thought it would be pretty fun. So then I'm making this little natural dirt path to the secret beach. I wanted it to be twists and turns and very natural. So I'm just playing around with different things until I get it how I like it. And then I'm laying down some trees to frame out this area because I wanted it to feel very foresty. And Bo was here with me while I was doing all of that. Then I laid down where I want the plot for his home to go and the rest of the gravel road pathing. I laid down some in-game dark dirt pathing for his Christmas tree plots, but I ended up changing this area a little bit. I did use the country fencing because it still is my favorite one even after the update. I started to create this little apple cider stand over here. And then I added some different details to the Christmas tree plots. I decided that I wanted this area to actually be 
in rows with the alternating dark and light dirt paths just to add interest. And then I planted some different stages of cedar trees. I added some decorations behind the Christmas trees, including a light up reindeer because I thought it'd be pretty fun to have some Christmas lights over here. And then I added the pathing for the apple cider stand using this great nine tile brick path that I used in my main street build. I really just wanted to go full on Christmas mode in this build. I can't believe how close we are to the holidays and how fast December is going by. So I had a lot of fun with this one. I'm adding some different objects to give height to this area and clutter it up a little bit. And then I added a big festive tree and a gift pile over here. Then I went in and added some different items over to the Christmas tree plots. And then I decided to add my first car to this island. So Bo's the only one who drives a car so far. But I thought that would just be fun to use that new item. It's so cool that we have cars in this game now, so I did want to include that. Then of course I had to add some party lights and I'm messing around with the heights of the trees and getting it just how I want them. And then I go in and stunt the trees and add some more decorations. And I finished by adding some bushes and flowers and miscellaneous items around the whole build. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. I love how festive this build came out. It makes me feel ready for the holidays, and I love how it looks with the falling snow here on my island. Thank you for all the support on my recent videos. We're getting really close to my year-end goal of a thousand subscribers, so I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like this one. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Bye-bye!